Welcome back to Hudson Valley Week in Review. I'm Amy Green. We continue now in Kingston where a new exhibit is on display focusing on Midtown's manufacturing era. On display at City Hall are documents and pictures from the turn of the 20th century when Midtown was known as a manufacturing center with nearly 40 factories in operation. Officials say the exhibit brings the public back to a time in Kingston when industrial activity was prime and thriving. Ulster County Clerk Nina Pashupak is one of the exhibit's sponsors and talks to us more about the significance of the display. We love to collaborate with different municipalities throughout the county and we like to highlight some important features of the townships, the city, whatever the case may be. And um, we just thought it would be a wonderful thing to really showcase what happened at the turn of the century here in Midtown Kingston. So it was a collaborative effort with the city of Kingston and the mayor was fantastic um, working with us and Suzanne Cahill from the planning office and Friends of Historic Kingston, which when you look at the exhibit, you'll see photos photographs that came from their collection and of course our office and our archives and many of our documents and history that pertains to Midtown at the turn of the century. Uh, no, our exhibit in the um, Ulster County Office Building is on the second floor. We've actually created an archival gallery on the second floor of the building and right now we are celebrating the 300th and 50th anniversary of the peace treaty and the exchanging of the wampum belt with the Native Americans and the English and the Dutch, which is very, very exciting also. What we did, there's actually three panels, and we um, broke the factories down into five separate categories. So there was um, the coal, gas, um, industry, there was the tobacco industry, as well as your um, wholesale grocers and breweries, there was the machinists, and then of course there was the clothing and lace. So 37 factories existed in Midtown, amazing, um, back in 1905. So um, the first part of the exhibit of each panel, we took some of our documents, which um, included our incorporation records and the City of Kingston directories, and we actually showed the incorporation of these businesses, as well as the advertisements in the Kingston City Directory. The second panel is from our 1905 census, and that census we actually um, did a project, and we data um, entered all that into Word searchable database, and that's available on our website, so you can actually search that 1905 census. And we took the people that worked in the factories and we showcased their occupation, where they were from, uh, their age, and where they lived here in the city of Kingston. Uh, and we depicted a lot of the pictures from that time. So each panel shows all the different factories based on their categories. Very important. And one of the reasons those 37 factories existed in Midtown is because of the railroad. And um, the importance of the railroad is showcased in one of our exhibit panels where it actually shows the West Shore Railroad the map that we have in our archives, and we've shown where each of the factories exist along that railroad. So because of the railroad running through Midtown Kingston, these factories were born and grew right here in Midtown. It's our history. You know, and it's an inspiration for our children, um, our students, to learn about history, New York State history that was made here in Ulster County and here in the city of Kingston. And also um, for the residents, uh, someone was just telling me, an employee of City Hall, where somebody came in yesterday and they found one of their relatives in the 1905 census that worked in one of the factories. And how wonderful is that to trace back your roots and you're still living here 100 years later in Ulster County and you're able to find one of your ancestors that worked in one of the factories. The exhibit will run right through the end of the year, so we're very excited about that. And we're hoping to move the exhibit because it is a great exhibit and it does have so much to um, offer to individuals. So we're hoping to move it somewhere else in Ulster County and hopefully in the city of Kingston. And one of the other components that we added to the exhibit is for the students and the children. An um, interesting concept, we took from the census the most common names and uh, we uh, did a whole panel on that. So would you like to know what the most common name was back in 1905? It was Minnie and they had over 500 Minnies 
here in the city of Kingston. So um, we also have created teaching packets throughout the years because we feel it's so important for our youth to learn about the history. And um, we're showcasing here at this exhibit the one that's based on immigration. And it goes through fourth through eighth grade curriculum. And it actually takes a person from Ellis Island all the way to Ulster County. And it follows their journey through immigration. And um, it's great for the students uh, to learn about how people, their ancestors came here and they built the foundation of this country. Right now we will change our exhibit in on uh, the county office building come January. Um, we're working on some ideas and concepts right now in regard to that. Um, we hope to collaborate more with the city of Kingston. This has been a wonderful experience. And um, of course we do throughout Ulster County. Ellenville has been a very great partner, the Ellenville Library. We have quite a few exhibits down there. Um, also, uh, I'm trying to think Stone Ridge. We've worked in Town of Ulster, Town of Sorgates. Uh It's wonderful, uh, Town of Esopus. It's celebrating their towns, their history, and taking records that are in our archives and taking them from being hidden away and making them available to the public. It's just a wonderful, wonderful um, thing for us to be able to do. When we come back, news making headlines in Ulster County. Stay with us.